What's going on, Video Game Voter Vanguardians? It's your boy, the Video Game Voter, here with another episode of VIP Voter Initial Plays, where we take an initial play of games newly added to the library, games we just simply haven't touched yet. Um, so today, we're still on the Wii U library, as you can see, coming up on the title screen loading. So today's game is from Disney, Disney's Planes. And as you guys, some people are probably familiar with it, especially if you got children or depending on your age bracket, um, this is very similar to uh, the movie Cars, and I believe it's the same creator, same director, stuff like that. Um, but this is instead of it being Cars, it's being planes. So I'm gonna read the back of the um, case here. It says, "Team up and fly with some of your favorite planes characters. Join Dusty and friends in heroic flying adventures. Compete against your friends in rally races." So that's the cover. Let you guys take a good look at that. And that's the back side of it. Um, so, I don't remember seeing this movie. I could have, because, you know, my kids are kind of young. Um, let's just use this one. Start fresh. And it appears that if you pick stories, about four modes on here. I imagine some verses or co-op stuff. But I guess you got to either complete the story mode or play some of it to unlock the rest. So, let's just get started with some of the story mode here. We're going to check this out. I'm making our way through the Wii U library. We still got quite a bit to go. Well, actually, a lot. I'm not going to say quite a bit. It's a lot. We're still making it through here. And I'm assuming that from reading the box, like I said, I'm not familiar with the movie, but Dusty seems to be the main character. And as if you're familiar with the movie Cars from Disney Pixar, in that movie, the characters have been integrated into automobiles where instead of them being Section humans they're actual vehicles and Echo. the same Checking thing they kind of followed that mode here ahead, and their planes instead obviously we are both ready planes. for the glide path. so um let's try to skip through some of the cinematics here i don't know who dusty is if he is i, I don't know if he's just the brown Skip character Riley? on the back or, honor to have you aboard sir. i guess we'll see soon but shouldn't you be training dusty yeah it maybe it says d7 i'm assuming that's him i guess that'd be that would make sense and with this one i also want to note that you can use the wii u gamepad which i have and i'm using right now like and the wii Hopper. remote and, not usually, and I'm assuming it's the one, there's two different one Wii remotes, one for the original Wii and one for Boy, the Wii U. And We'd you also can use the nunchucks with that as well. And whatever box you get for Wii U, it'll be noted right there okay, to show you. I'm ready for a little workout, which I, I personally enjoy the Pro Control on Wii, Wii U, Dusty. it's very nice. So. I know it's been a while. Great. This is almost feels like a flight simulator. Keep up the good work, like if you like the tumble rolls and stuff like that. I call that a job well done. You remember how to fly, right. don't you, Dusty? Yeah, so it's kind of like it's time to try if you guys are familiar stuff. with any type of flight simulator like games kid. or flying, you fly normally if you press down and it takes the plane up, and you press turns. up, it takes it down, left and right, vice versa. There you go. You're really getting the hang you of it. Tumble rolls while clicking it. All very, very similar. I thought. I actually thought that was pretty. Pretty classy of them to do that. To kind of give it that uh, actual real flight simulator uh, feel to integrate those controls. So, right off the bat, I can kind of see that. Um, this was by B. Havier, who seems to be a developer. I've I can see that they put a lot of thought into um, the controls and trying to make it feel like an actual flight simulator in a sense, or it gives you the feel of actual flying to a certain degree. So they actually took their time and integrated certain things to make it feel very, very real, which I can appreciate. And normally, um, movie spinoff games and stuff like that are not the best. Um, so, to see something, oh, even yeah. the, even that small, That's is something that you can appreciate. 
just with the controls. That just shows that they put some thought into it, and it's not just one of those things they throw on the shelf because of the characters too. Makes sense, so I can appreciate that a whole lot. Boost right there, and there's one up here. Got that one. Getting the hang of this. So this is kind of like a uh, training. All right. right. Glad you're back in the zone. Now it's time to get serious. These will help you go faster if you collect enough of them. Okay, so these are speed meter upgrades. You run into a wall and you'll lose speed faster than you can blink. So fly straight. Go hunt down those speed meters. And show me what you got. Aye, aye, Skipper. Whew. He actually sounds like a uh, lightning McQueen from Cars a little bit. Like I said, I didn't see the movie, so I don't know who's actually doing the voice of Dusty. There we are. We got all six of those. Every good racer has to have a good eye. I hit a camera Got out the there, camera. find it as fast as you can, and then head to the next rendezvous point. Get this one. Controls feel nice and tight. Nothing crazy or or out of the now way. Um, nothing seems you difficult. Everything feels nice and clean. Nice, clean, tight controls. I'm, I'm enjoying I'm playing these, actually. Super cool. So, we got to photograph these landmarks. Um, with this camera that we just got, I'm not really sure the objective of that. So the meter that appears to be the best. If you allow that gauge to get closer to the middle, you'll get a better picture. I imagine at some point they were using the planes because they need to take pictures of something, some kind of research or something. I don't know. Just guessing. Cool. Dusty, I put wing points you can collect inside the race targets. Fly through the targets while boosting to break them and get the wing points inside. You'll need to break them all before I can give you the next objective. Remember to boost through those targets. You can't break them otherwise. Yes, I got yeah, it. Hit the boost button with the ZR button. That's the, one of the top buttons. I'm gonna collect every wing point the I can. Game pass, you're not familiar. That's the last wing point. Mission complete. Alrighty. You see the navigation strobes on your wings? Mm -hmm. Dottie adjusted them to help direct you to your next objective. The faster they strobe, the closer you are to finding it. Okay. If the light on your left wing is blinking, head to the left to find your objective. Okay. If the light on your right wing is blinking, Turn right. head to the right to find your objective. Both wing lights are breaking. It means you should continue going straight ahead to find your objective. Makes sense. Great Easy work, enough. Dusty. You're done. Nice work on that last mission, Dusty. Now, it's time for a little secret Jolly Wrenches training in air-to-air -air combat. Grab the toroidal vortex cannon. Right. Okay. The or as you can see, like it's mentioned in the strobes. The vortex cannon. It launches a the players will be beeping louder because that's because I got closer to you, my objective. You your next objective. Not bad. Once you locate a target, knock it down with your vortex cannon. Well, what are you waiting for? Go for it. Somewhere so far. Okay, there it is. Just keep steady aim and fire. Got Get that the hang one. of this. I do like the shooter mechanic? I guess it, it's um. I would have preferred the sh tr the fire button to be one of the top trigger buttons, but um, that's obviously how you do your speed burst and help with the flying mechanic. Um, it's actually a button. It's not the worst because you know just holding the Wii U pad is it's still comfortable. Uh, I, like I said, I would have preferred it to be one of the top triggers, but either way, it's still still nice enough control. They put it right next to. Uh, where your right thumb will rest to control Skipper the right said, trigger. Pay attention to my navigation strokes to find what I'm looking for. Somewhere around here. Where's that? There it is. 
go ahead and now go somewhere. Let's see. There it is. Got him all. Awesome. That was only a warm up. This is cool. I gotta be honest with you. If you just want Even something to just kind of play casually, this will definitely be the game to check out. So we're gonna end the episode on that note. Now, I really enjoyed playing this. This was Disney's planes the for the Wii U. Um, very very cool. It's based on the movie uh, Disney Planes, almost like a flight so simulator. Sure for a casual gamer, I feel like anybody can pick this game up, and play it. So let me know down in the comment section what you think about the game. Are you familiar with the franchise as far as the movie's concerned? and have you played in these games and checking this out what do you think uh obviously you can pick this up pretty cheap at gamestop probably cheaper than that right now especially with next gen consoles on the horizon these prices are cheap and they're going for very very low and cheap prices sometimes free if you catch a buy one get one free sale at gamestop so it's your boy the video game voter signing off take care